Today I'm going to make a, a pineapple upside down cake in the Elite pressure cooker. This is kind of uh, a mixture of parts of a recipe. You're going to take a Duncan Hines pineapple supreme cake mix. This actually has nothing in the box about pineapple or cherries or brown sugar. It's only a white cake mix. So if you have something similar, you can start with that. I'm going to use the cake mix, three eggs, a pack, small pack of instant jello vanilla pudding. We're going to be using some cherries and pineapple uh, to place the rings in the pan, some brown sugar, a half a cup of oil, and a cup of water. I'm going to get that mixing up here for you and then I'll show you how we put it together. take some melted or uh, softened butter and spread it around the bottom of a couple of pans. We're probably going to make two batches out of this because um, the size of the pan that I can put in the pressure cooker isn't as big as I would usually make in a, in a pan, like a springform pan. Just using some foil throwaway type containers. Which, uh, Cover the bottom with some butter. Then the next step is to take some brown sugar and sprinkle it on the butter. Don't be shy about this, it's going to make it delicious. This is what sweetens your cake since there won't be any icing or anything like that. Do that with both pans. One way to get the pan in and out of the pressure cooker easily is to make a little sling out of a piece of aluminum foil so I'll show you how to do that too. Now that you have the brown sugar in the pan we're going to lay some pineapple rings in there. Fit as many as you can into your pan because everybody likes to get a piece of the pineapple. And I have to stick one in the middle. There we go. Now depending on the size pressure cooker you use, I'm using the Elite 10 quart pre pressure cooker and I bought pans that are um, eight and a half inch in diameter. So you can buy whatever kind of pan or if you have one of your own that fits into the pressure cooker you have. This gives a little amount of space on the sides to be able to take it out easily. You can take uh, cherries now. Let's decorate this with some cherries. Put one in the center of every piece of pineapple. And I see these still have the stems. Get rid of that. I think these are the best part so I'm going to sprinkle a couple extras around to decorate this when we turn it upside down it's going to be really pretty cake. Alright next I'm going to make a swing to get these in and out of the pressure cooker easily and all I want to do is make a sturdy strip of aluminum foil. This is very hot and steamy. You don't want to reach down and touch the pan. So we're just going to set the pan right on that. 
and you can pick it up like this lower it in and out of the pot okay we have the batter all ready to pour so we're going to cover this pineapple with some cake batter again use whatever white color cake mix or uh, recipe you like for a sponge cake spread it around so that everything is covered and um, on this particular pressure cooker there's a setting for dessert so I'm going to use that setting I'm going to take a slice of uh, piece of foil here and just cover this pot uh, pan so that nothing gets in it as far as the steam and water. We're going to use the steam as the heat to cook it, but we really don't want any extra water inside. Now inside the pressure cooker, I'm using a rack and this is to keep the um, pan from sitting on the bottom where it might possibly burn the cake. So we'll put the rack in. I'm going to add some water to the cooker here just till it's up to the bottom of the rack. So I'm pouring it in out of a water bottle to give you an idea. That's about how much water I want in there. Then I'm going to carefully lower this cake using the sling right into the pressure cooker. So it's sitting on the rack, covered with foil, ready to go. So let's put the lid on. Get in place set it into pressure mode and then we're going to touch desserts which is 18 minutes so if you do not have a dessert button set your pressure cooker for 18 minutes when it comes up to uh, pressure it'll cook for 18 we're also going to let the pressure release naturally on this one we're not going to uh, allow the pressure to escape quickly it'll help the cake to finish nicely Right, the pressure is escaped. We're going to take the lid off. Let's see what it looks like. Very hot in here, so we, even though we have a sling, we got to very carefully lift it out. So I'm going to use pot holders. All right, we're going to. Unveil the cake. See how it kept all the water off. What a beautiful sponge cake. Now you know what we do with this next is we flip it onto the plate. Right, we're going to put a plate over top and just you can use a sling in this case. We're going to flip it right back over. Keeps you from burning your fingers. And then we carefully Lift the tin off of the cake. Voila! Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, all that brown sugar, pineapple, cherries, and a nice moist sponge cake. So this is a very simple, easy, delicious pressure cooker dessert. And most people wouldn't expect that you can make a cake in a pressure cooker, but look how easy that was. Try it.